camera at home, so I have to vlog on my phone, but I'm here on location shooting a commercial. Can't say what it's for, but yeah, this is basically going to be my day. Waiting. So we've been here for two hours, and the production company is from LA, and they're shooting in San Francisco, and they don't know what they're doing. So I said we should probably go to the beginning of the line for the cable car, and then we can be in the positions that they want us in for the shot, so by the time we drive by, they know where we're going to be but they keep having us try and hop on like two stops before where the camera setup is and of course it's going to be full because it's like two o'clock and we're in a touristy area so you know but does anyone listen to cat and no nope 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 so we have had three cable cars pass by and they've all been full so one time we tried to hop on they made us get on the inside which was completely pointless and I'm just waiting for them to realize that I'm right and have us just walk to the beginning of the line at Hyden Beach and get this shot over with. But whatever. No one listens to Cat. It is 9 a.m. and I am here out front of the studio. Sorry, my lighting's weird. Because I'm waiting for um, the photographer and the stylist, we're shooting her clothing today for her website, I suppose, and we're going to go up to the Oakland Hills and shoot some stuff. Should be good. And this is the cargo elevator. I've never actually ridden in one that's like this with the doors open like that. This thing is huge. It's really cool though. We're at this park and it's pretty cool. We have an intern. <laughs> and we're just shooting in these trees. We're gonna shoot down by that fountain. And I think we've got just a couple more outfits left. <laughs> They're just chilling on the fence, you know. But it is a beautiful day in the Bay Area. And it's nice to be out in the sun. I'm enjoying myself. It's 1.15 and I'm already done. You guys, I swear it's never like this. I never have this many short shoots in a row. So maybe vlogging is just good luck, I guess? Usually it's hours and hours and hours and it's tedious, but I've been having a really good time lately with lots of short, quick shoots, except for yesterday. Yesterday was so disorganized. We could have gotten that done so much faster, but you know, nobody listens to Katrina. So today was really good. And I am going to go to the Presidio, um, Mesa Street. Mesa Street. I'm gonna to go to the Presidio now because I have to pick up my digitized stuff from my tapes from my childhood and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna go pick that up, I'm gonna review that stuff and then tell them what they can and cannot use. And I'm sorry, I'm blocking your view, I've gotta put my phone here. Toodles! Alright, I went and got something to eat and oh, I am exhausted. And I didn't even really work that long. I think it's because we were out in the sun walking around the whole time. Um, but after that, I went to the Presidio and I picked up my tapes and the uh, hard drive that they put all that information on. And then I went and got something to eat. And now I'm home and I really want to take a nap, but my skin just feels gross with all that makeup on. <sighs> oh, baby wipes. I love you. I'm at BART waiting for my train, going to do another commercial today in San Francisco, like sort of downtown, and it's only going to be a couple hours, so that's not bad. And there's my train. I am in my car on my way to San Juan Bautista, of all places, right? Um, it's about two hours from here. I haven't really talked at all about my Masonic family, um, Rainbow, Eastern Star, Freemasonry. I would tell you to Google it, but most of the information on the internet is just like so far-fetched and honestly just like bonkers. Um, like a lot of people think Freemasons are tied to Illuminati and uh, 
like honestly, if you hung out with us in the Masonic family, you'd be like, these people can barely pull off a spaghetti dinner. They're not running the world. But you know, people want to believe what they want to believe, so there's not much we can do about that. Although, now for um, Rainbow, which is the organization I grew up in, um, parents can actually come to a meeting and see a meeting before their kid is initiated, which is pretty cool because it wasn't like that when I was in. And um, yeah, so there was a whole debacle. I wanted to get more involved in Eastern Star up here in the San Francisco area, so I had to demit from my old chapter down south. And as soon as I did that, seriously, two days later we got our eviction notice. So then we didn't know if we we're going to LA or if we we're staying here, and then things just got crazy. So instead of um, joining the chapter up here, I'm being reinstated in my old chapter, but I have to be there. And then I'm just gonna have to demit from that chapter again and join a chapter in Southern California when I move. It's really complicated. I'm sure you have no idea what I just said. Sorry. I stopped in Morgan Hill and the sunset is gorgeous here. The sky is pure pink. And that is the old lodge building across the street from San Juan Bautista Mission. I am pumping gas in San Juan Bautista, getting ready to get back on the road. What time is it? It is 9.18. Yowza. So, yeah, I really want to get more involved with the organization again. I mean, I've never really been involved with the organization. Like, I joined when I was 18 because I could, and then um, <clears throat> I was just more involved with Rainbow instead. And then uh, we moved, and so I was still a member of Magnolia Chapter in Gilroy, and... We were in Davis area, and then we moved to San Francisco, and I didn't really have time to be involved anyway. So now, I've been wanting to get more involved, but, I mean, the organization's dying because in terms of Masonic organizations, it's evolve or die, and um, they're not evolving. So, we'll see. I want to be more involved. Rainbow is the best thing that ever happened to me when I was a kid, and... I want the organization to still be around, but it has to change. A lot. <sighs> I mean, it's nice to see everyone, but it's also a little bit depressing because all the chapters and assemblies and lodges are so small and so many are closing and you just have to do things differently. I'm back in the Presidio today. Um, I had to bring my hard drive because the hard drive I picked up last week won't talk to my computer. Or was it last week? Was it earlier this week? I don't remember. Um, it won't talk to my computer. So I brought this one in, gave them the file that I had that they could use, and they gave me my video files. <laughs> I'm really excited. There's got to be some weird stuff on there. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to go home and watch those, and uh, hopefully it's pretty entertaining. Oh my god, I am watching all these videos that I just got back converted from my tapes and I am laughing so hard I'm crying. They are such treasures, just absolute treasures. I'll probably add in a few clips of the best ones for you because they are just too good. Ugh. Oh, my youth. My name is Hilda Hinklebottom and I've been on the underground vacuum racing circuit for about Four years, 30 days, 27 minutes, but hey, who's counting? I'm Phoebe Kimbler. I've been racing for about seven years now. This is my baby, Rosie. We've been through some tough times, as you can see, but I think we're going to make it. Special talent time, so whoever has a special talent. Oh, yes. Survivor! That's no. creepy. Licking the elbow. In the submarine, it's coming. Oh, man. And the angels sing. For those of you 
Well, I'm sorry. He's freakishly skinny. <laughs> <Wow>. Ta-da! <laughs> Woohoo! Is there something you want to tell us, Mark? Are you, uh... Yeah, my shirt's a little too small. <laughs> Don't jump into a tree. <laughs> We're not getting that. <laughs> hey, he's a pro. He's just so smooth. I know. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>